Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to maintain your pop-up camper during the winter. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do, or the first thing you're going to want to do, is uh, take the snow off the top here. Make sure it doesn't pile up, you know, four or five feet. Put a lot of weight on your roof, might damage the inside, put a lot of weight on your axle, you know, the framing. So it's good to keep this cleared off as best as you can. Uh, we're just going to be using a plastic shovel, not to damage the roof, the rubber roof. So let's get to that first. All right guys, as you can see, I got uh, most of the snow off of the roof here. Uh, what you can see, what's left over, you always get this like layer of ice uh, that's uh, on top of the roof here. But I'm just gonna leave that. I'm not gonna pick at it or uh, try to chip it off because I don't wanna damage the rubber roof. You know, on a nice, even during the winter, a nice sunny day, this will melt off and run off. Uh, the other thing you can, Notice is I don't have a tarp covering the camper. Uh, you know, if you have a tarp over it, I don't do it because if I, you know, I think if you put a tarp over it, it'll trap any moisture that's in there. It won't be able to evaporate, at least this way here. You know, uh, the uh, any moisture inside or in the roof can evaporate out through. If you cover it up with a tarp, it might not happen. So just leave this. This is good enough. Leave this little layer of ice. I got most of the snow off of the weight. All right, so uh, the next thing you want to do is just open it up and go check what's happening inside. All right, so uh, you just want to, you know, jack it up, the top up just enough to uh, open the door. Uh, you know, in the cold, you don't want to jack it all the way to the top in case something happens. You know, everything is very fragile in the cold. So I just jack it up, you know, enough to open the door so I can crawl in there and see what's going on. So that's perfect. If something does happen, I mean, at this height, you can always cover it up with a tarp or something, if something really goes wrong, but I don't recommend uh, jacking it all the way up in the winter, just in case. So this is enough for me to crawl inside and see what's happening. All right, guys, this is in, down inside the uh, camper. Uh, look down this way. And as you can see, I leave all the doors open so that if the mice do get in, they'll find their way into the uh, main area here where all the mouse traps are. And you can see the, uh, sorry about the lighting here, I'm trying to, there we go. There's the damp traps. Now when you come over here, oh, what do we have here? Look at that. That's why it's very important to keep traps especially in the winter time, actually all times. So I got two mice here and uh, not really sure how long they've been there. I haven't been here in two months. Uh, the dam traps are still full, so I don't have to change those. Uh, so I got two mice here. These traps over there are okay. Down there, I don't have any traps because I wouldn't be able to get to it anyway. Uh, just let me get out here a bit. All right. So as I was saying, I leave this door open. I leave this door open. I leave this door open when I close it up. That way any mice that come in through here, they won't get trapped inside of here or anywhere. They won't get trapped in here. They'll uh, make their way up to the, to the traps and that's exactly what happened. All right, so let's reset those traps and uh, put down some uh, new bounce sheets. All right, so we're just gonna get this trap out of here. All right, here we go. And what I like about these traps is you can just come over here. I always wear rubber gloves and just drop them out like this make a nice snack for a bird or something and then you just basically boom like so and uh, you're ready to go these are the tomcat traps I think that I mentioned in another video but they're really good quick and easy easy to reset easy to put back whoops it just went off oh 
Okay, there we go. I'm gonna get the other trap here. There we go. We'll come over and put this here. Another nice snack for the wildlife. No point to throw it away. And then it sets really easy like this. Put this back. Here's the light again. So you want to put them uh, right against the uh, wall like that, so that when the mice are running against the wall, uh, as you can see, the damp trap here, the beads are stuck together, but uh, no liquid inside. That's good. So I have uh, one, two, three. You can see four, five traps here just in case, you know, a whole bunch get in. You want to be better safe than sorry. All right. Now, next thing you want to do is uh, get your uh, new bounce sheets here. There you go. Doesn't matter what you use, bounce or gain or snuggle, doesn't matter. I'm just gonna toss them about here. Get some new scent in here. And I'm also gonna come outside. Stick some up here on the bed. Gonna take all these, stick them up here on the bed. There we go. Now, when you leave, you want to make sure, like I said, all your doors are open, like so. Open up this door, make sure all the doors are open. The mice will come and find their way in now. All right guys, so there you have it. Uh, the uh, top of the trailer's all shoveled off. Uh, you know, the inside I checked, reset the traps, got the mice out of there, uh, you know, before the spring comes and they smell up the joint. So uh, that's about it. You know, you can also do visual inspection around the trailer, just make sure everything's okay. You can sweep off, you know, over here too, whatever you want. All right guys, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, Please leave comments or uh, anything you want to talk about, and uh, please subscribe. Until next time.